Okay, so this is going to be like the seventh time I've attempted to vlog this evening. So let's just see if we can do it this time, people. A little, little bit of focus, focus, focus. I'm having a bit of a Sari Cray moment. I can't focus. Um, and the mind goes blank. I'd like to say it was because I'm suddenly at one with the universe, but I don't think that's the reason somehow. I guess really, I've been watching Kurt's videos lately and there's a whole... Uh, there's a whole rush... <laughs> oh, there's a whole psychological rationale to why I'm watching those videos and... If you know me very well, then, you know, you can probably put two and two together and... Frankly, we don't even really need to get into that right now. So let's just forget about it entirely. But, um, one of the, his videos was about sort of, um, coming out of the YouTube closet. And it sort of got me thinking because, quite honestly, none of my quote-unquote in real life friends, my family, my workmates, basically anybody that I can physically see without the use of a computer screen knows anything about my YouTube involvement. And I was sort of, I was writing a comment on, on Kurt's video and sort of thinking about it and I thought, well, you know, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm embarrassed by the videos. I mean, there are a lot of times when I, I'll be perhaps a little bit too critical of myself and say, well, you know, that could have been done better and, you know, the punchline wasn't there and that editing bit and the sound on my camera isn't the best and I've got this great little uh, reverb on there that takes a word like apocalypse and makes it sound like apocalypse. I think I have a bit of a lisp anyway, so there you go, the things you learn by doing YouTube videos, but even tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys, so I ducked out my garage door, went to my car, drove to 10 minutes, literally on the other side of a very large river, to where my house is, to talk to you guys. And it seems insane, it really does, it seems absolutely insane to me that I would go to such dramatic lengths to talk to a camera. But the truth is, I really feel like I can be myself on YouTube. I have such amazing friends. I have such lovely people in my life on this medium. And they support me and, and they love me. And like this, might, this probably sounds like a really stupid example, but... Even the quote-unquote bad singing video, I I love singing. I've been doing it since I could talk, and I haven't, you know, I haven't had any training. I'm not, a, I'm not a naturally gifted musician by any stretch of the imagination. I used to frustrate the hell out of me because I love doing this thing, and I just couldn't get my head around it. Um, and every, every, seemingly at every opportunity in my childhood, somebody would, would just absolutely delight in telling me that I was a really crap singer, basically. And, oh, it got to a point where I just, I'm... You know, I, I sing in my bedroom, that's what I do. I sing in the shower. I don't sing anywhere else. I'm at probably my car. I mean, I do lots of weird and wonderful things in my car that I apparently don't do anywhere else. But I, I did this video and I thought, you know, you can't post this video. What are you insane or something? And I thought, it doesn't matter. These people are my friends. They love me. You know, I joked about... Italian guy from New York and um, bashing people up and Sari Cray talking to them about fashion, but I've never felt like I could do anything like that. I've never thought that, you know, hey, it's it's all about the fun, my friends are there, let's let's have a good time. 
it's always how is this going to be judged and should I be doing this and is this appropriate and oh just so much crap that's what it all boils down to but I just I feel like I can be myself on YouTube and I can't be myself in my quote unquote real life because I have all these pretenses I have to hold up my job and in my family to be honest I don't really have that many pretenses to hold up with my friends because I barely see them I don't even know who they are anymore It's one of the central ironies, I think, to my whole existence, that I'm alone so much. And yet, when I want to just talk to a camera in privacy, I have to physically leave, leave my home. And in some ways, it's not because I'm... It's not... Well, that's the whole thing. It's not about being ashamed of the YouTube stuff. It's about keeping the real world away from the YouTube stuff, because I don't want the real world to fuck it up. That's kind of what it boils down to, for me. And I just... Uh, it pains me sometimes, because... I wish I could see... All these wonderful people... Like, face to face, without... All the technology. Because they've been so much nicer. So much more supportive. Loving than anybody in my quote-unquote real life my geographical reality <sighs> and I don't I, it's not really my intention to get all sappy on you but I mean every time I turn this camera on I either go into some depressive manic state or I gush about how much I'm loved and appreciated on this website but um I don't know <laughs> I have been thinking about about Italian guy from New York lately and how he's just been so nice to me and there was this one day and something and something happened and it absolutely broke my heart And I didn't, I didn't even know where I could go, to be honest. I was trying to hide, hide, hide it from my family and from my friends and... And I mean a lot of my online friends were, were asleep because of the time difference and... I basically just got on Stickham and cried my eyes out. And I felt so alone. I'm so foolish. And he came and... He made me feel better. He made me laugh. He made me feel like somebody cared. And he's been doing that ever since. He's just such a, such a lovely guy. And I think really he's probably, you know, he's, he's, his talent doesn't really surprise me anymore. He's just an exceptionally creative guy, but I'm just overwhelmed by, by how genuinely nice he is. How much he really does care about people. And the things he does to to demonstrate that. And anyway, like like I said, I don't want to I don't want to get all gushy on you guys. So, but thanks for watching. Thanks for enduring yet another car vlog. I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you soon.